Hello my fellow gamers, welcome back to Comfortable Gaming. Today we're talking best Souls-like games part 2 on Xbox Game Pass and starting with Lies of P. If you've been looking for Bloodborne 2, well this is kind of the next big thing to it. Very takes a lot of inspiration from Bloodborne, different universe and everything. The universe is set obviously in, in a little bit of a dark Pinocchio version. Of type of thing as that fairy tale kind of changed and stuff with really interesting story it takes about 20 hours to beat this game and it's got really fluid really good combat that is very similar to bloodborne with its weapon styles and everything else really good boss fights that i've really enjoyed really enjoyed this world and i'm just wishing this game was a bit longer for me because i enjoyed every minute of it and it's one of the best games on game pass right now to try out in my opinion and i've been really really enjoying it Next up we got Wulong Fallen Dynasty on Cloud Console and PC and this is my favorite Souls-like game on Game Pass at the moment and it comes from Team Ninja from the creators of Neo 1 and 2 which is probably the best Souls adaptation games apart from obviously the original uh, From Software games and I think Team Ninja has done a really great job honing this genre that from software is created with dark souls and Sekiro, and obviously this game is all about perry so if you played a lot of Sekiro, you'll feel a little bit right at home and it's got a really nice timer to mess than when to parry and once you do that this game becomes super fun it had some really challenging bosses like Lu blue that i really found challenging in this game really good story that i enjoyed the world was a little bit fun to explore as very much like a souls like game and this is probably the most like souls game on this list and most like being like Sekiro. combat is really fluent there's nothing that i found really challenging like the game doesn't really work really awesome gear and weapons and f different fight styles you can do and probably the best souls like game you can play on game pass right now Next up we got Dead Cells, Cloud Console and PC and if you ever wanted a Castlevania style Souls League game this is literally what it is and it takes huge inspiration from the Castlevania games, it's a proper Metrovania game and it's got a lot of challenging bosses and stuff which also follows a little bit of elements of Dark Souls if you're looking for a challenge with dodge and all those sort of mechanics just set in more of a gameplay of Metrovania and stuff. They literally had a DLC expansion for this return to castlevania because that's how this whole game is expired about that and i think that is really awesome and really cool and everything about this game is just a lot of fun a lot of challenge and you're gonna have a lot of fun here be prepared to find quite a lot of challenge in this game i must say but all in all if you love metrovania and you love dark souls there's no perfect game than dead souls to play If one 2D Metrovania game wasn't enough, Hollow Knight Void Heart Edition is one of the best platformer Metrovania games out there. And same as Dead Cells, very similar to that game, just in its own charm and completely different. And probably one of the best platformer 2D games out there. That is as well on Game Pass. And it has all the elements you would not, not think of Dark Souls having it, but grueling challenges, hard bossing, punishing death that makes it every so challenging playing this game that makes you feel like you're playing a souls game in 2d i found it a lot more challenging than dead cells and it has a lot of those souls elements where you die different boss mechanics and things like that so be careful because it does cost you dying in this game similar to what dark souls offers and things like that so all in all this is one of the best games 2d platformer games i've ever played and i absolutely love it and it's a great addition to game pass and it's always worth checking out next up is dead store and this is a very charming little game which kind of takes away from what dark souls usually are which are very dark games but it has its all its elements that are very similar to dark souls to combat and dodge and those sort of challenging little bosses but it's a very beautiful charming story if you're really more story driven this guy offers that with really great gameplay really great combat and it also takes a little bit of something from zelda with a bunch of puzzles and things like that to, to do in this game it's a lot of fun to be done here different abilities to use and it's a game a lot of people sleep on and i think it's a really worth checking out if you're a souls like fan or a zelda fan and that matter as well and next up we got for anna and I know a lot of people are saying, what, what are you talking about? Fun is nothing like Dark Souls. Well, hold on here. I know it is a multiplayer game. And that says that you fight different dynasties, samurai dynasties, knights, 
Vikings against one another, and it's definitely it's all focused on multiplayer. And with the much firing edition as well on Game Pass, it's really worth checking out. And now my point is why this is also a lot of souls like if you watch the combat and how you play with a lot of its dodge mechanics, block mechanics. If you played any Dark Souls to Elden Ring, you'll find quite similar to that, except in the multiplayer, so multiplayer type of aspect. So if you're a little bit of sick of Elden Ring's PvP or Dark Souls PvP, which you shouldn't be, <laughs> um, this is another great option to try out and fight against people and test your combat and your skills of dodging and beating other people. It can be a lot of fun. And it's a great multiplayer game to play on Game Pass and also to jump in with friends. Not the best games of Ubisoft that there is on Game Pass, but it has a lot of offering and I think really great combat and I think that's what makes this game really good. It's its combat. Next up is one of my favorite games on this list, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And in the last 10 years, this is probably the best Star Wars game we had in the last 10 years. It's a brilliant story game really good combat and this is pretty much like dark souls you have respawn points where you die and you lose your points of experience you got to collect if you die good boss fights good dodge mechanics literally like a dark souls game set in star wars there's a bit more exploration story is really really good and everything almost the perfect star wars game in my opinion and really worth checking out on game pass last on this list is tunic and give this game a chance give this game a try it's developed by literally one person it's one of the best indie games i've played it has a little bit elements of zelda in it and stuff really cool combat and mechanics that you will feel a little bit like dark souls in that sense again it's a little bit of like a it's not really a 2d 2d game in a sense and it offers really awesome areas really awesome combat to explore such a charming and really really fun game and I can't believe this game was developed by one person. In the last five years, this game has grown and developed so much. And it's such a worth game to play and check out. And I can't speak enough about this. It's something that really surprised me and really lots of fun. And if you're scratching a little bit of Dark Souls itch, Exploration itch, a little bit of Zelda in it, it comes with a really great mixture of that. And I love its charming idea and design of the game. Really worth checking out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one.